Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is May 11th, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group, and we're going to talk a little bit about that day here in just a few moments. But uh, I want to spend just a quick minute talking about a really good discussion that we had in the trading room today about risk reward. Uh, our objective, of course, is to uh, achieve asymmetrical returns. Uh, that simply means two to one, three to one, four to one, or better um, risk reward ratios. Uh, that way, uh, and really the genesis of this discussion today, or the point of this discussion, I guess, was we really just talked about um, the fact that uh, you can take losing trades and losing as part of trading, and you are going to have those kinds of things happen. But if you have these big asymmetrical returns where you're looking for two to one, three to one, four to one or greater uh, return uh, on your trades, then you stand a really good chance of being more consistently successful in the long run. And then almost as if on cue today, we took a ES loser. All right. So we're going to talk about that here. By the way, we are conducting a live training session on May 25th. Uh, there are a limited number of seats. What we do is we try to keep these events as small as we can so that we can get to everyone and makes it a more personal type environment. Uh, but again, we are going to be doing that on May 25th. So we are letting you know that that training environment is going to be held. Anyway, we talked about these asymmetrical returns and then we promptly uh, took an ES loser today for two points. Two points on two lots is $200. And that uh, happened here as I was trying, as I was trying to take advantage of uh, a retracement back into our, one of our levels here. In fact, uh, let me turn this on here. We're going to turn that off for a second. We're going to turn these structure signals on. So basically what happens here, these are your daily structure signals. And the way that we look at this market uh, with these market maker levels is we say that anything, anytime after this 7 a.m., right, if the market hits what would be the daily structure signal after the 7 a.m. measurement, then you would be looking for it to rally up into the structure mid up here. If it cannot get through this structure mid, then you would be looking for it to take off down into this daily structure target. So let me turn this off just a second. So it would be into this green line, it, into this green line. That's where you would be looking for the long to occur. I took a long there uh, in the face of this. It actually went four ticks positive uh, before it came and steamrolled me out at two points, right? So why am I showing you this chart? Well, I'm showing you this chart for a couple of reasons. One is that the market maker level still performed really well today. They actually did what you were expecting them to do. And then uh, we found support down here uh, at this uh, daily structure extension, uh, market structure extension rather, and then the market rallies into this mid level. So once you come down into this level, you can see how the market really respected that. You just closed uh, one bar below this market structure extension. If you were to take a measurement here, and just say that this was, if that was your long down to the low here, uh, that's 1.75 points, not quite two points. You would have stayed alive had you gotten into this. In fact, the first time it comes down, actually, uh, you could see here it went to uh, 80.75 here, and uh, it triple topped at uh, 84 half, so almost four points there on the bounce. And then once you came back down and tested it again, uh, then the market rallies into, as you would expect, a move into this market structure mid, and that's uh, 11 and a half points, right? So even though I didn't take advantage of this move, and the reason that I didn't is I was in that really nice CL trade that I'm about to show you. Uh, I was in that really nice CL trade, which I didn't, so I didn't take advantage of this ES move, but ha if you have these levels on your charts, and again, they work the same in CL, ES, NQ, YM, TF, gold, uh, they all work. Uh, in these various markets. So again, the rationale here uh, for not getting into this trade was I was already in a very handsome uh, CL trade. In fact, uh, it was a five to one uh, risk reward today on the CL. So sometimes I get asked, why are you taking uh, you know, a trade uh, in the face of momentum, right? And so today, as we were heading into this revision signal, this revision signal hadn't quite formed yet, but we were in a fairly significant sell-off. In fact, uh, if you look back up here at the daily structure signal, again, 7 a.m. measurement market comes into this daily structure signal, and you would be looking for it to come down into the mid. And you can see how, just like the same thing we just talked about on the ES, you can see how the market comes down into this mid-level and then bounces up. So what is that? That went from 71 up to... Um, 80 and maybe even as high here 
as 84. So you got a nice bounce off that structure, man. And once it began to fail out of here, you had your revision signal develop. And it is right here. And I don't know if you can see the beginning of this blue uh, shaded area beginning to develop. But the, the way that this works is you look for a long now, first time touch off of this revision signal. And, and you are also beginning to look for the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. retracement window. And that's exactly what you had here. So when you get into this trade of the day, um, you're going to see me get in long at 60 right above the top of this revision signal. And you're going to hear me talk about where am I going to place my stop. And I, I talk about this swing low is 54. I end up placing it at, at 49. And that's typically what I do. I like a 10 to 12 tick stop uh, on the CL. Then you're going to hear me talk about the target being somewhere between 99 and 07. And actually, you'll see me put the target up there uh, at this uh, level. Let's see. This uh, revision target was right here at 18. And you had this uh, 4807 daily structure signal. So what I was looking for is it to rally back into the structure signal. And uh, I end up right at the end of the trade, moving that back three additional ticks to 10 uh, so we can get that even uh, 50 tick move. And also really what I was talking about is bringing it up into this revision target, going from revision signal to revision target up here at 18. Uh, I did not end up doing that because we had a tremendous amount of liquidity that was beginning to stack up. Uh, around that 10 level. So I went right to the 10 uh, for an even uh, 50 tick move. So 11 tick stop, 50 tick target, about four and a half to five uh, times uh, risk reward. Anyway, so the market just kind of gets in and that's where we end. And you can see here that th this was confirmation uh, in the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. swing zone. You look for a, a reversal formation and this is clearly it right here. And then the market begins to kind of rotate around and then, you know, we talked about this area, this revision target up here at 18, but I was looking, ended up going for 10. And then the market goes right up and that bar goes right into 12. And that was my target at 10 for 50 ticks. So again, it was as if on cue today, we were having this discussion, uh, the market cooperated uh, as we were having this discussion on risk reward and holding on for bigger targets and all of those kinds of things. And uh, we went from 47.60, the entry, up to 47.10. So, again, as always, I am keeping, uh, I'm going to let you watch this video today. Uh, I have let you, the first 45 seconds, we talk about entry stops and targets. Uh, and then from there, I take the rest of the balance of that trade and convince, condense it down into about, well, I don't know, it's about three and a half, four minutes. And then I put some music behind it, and you can see how it turned out. So, Without further ado, here is the OTG trade of the day. And I am in at 60 long. My stop here, what's the swing low? The swing low down here is 54. The stop here is 49. Stop is 49 and your target. Structure mid up here. All right, so I'm gonna get the break even at 69. 77 revision up there at zero at 99. All right, so the target here is 99 to 07, somewhere in that area. All right, 99 to 07 is the target. So I'm going to bring this target up here to 07 for now, right? That's the daily structure signal on the other side.
right. Right there at the end of the trade, uh, we were able to uh, maneuver that stop around just a little bit. You saw the uh, little graphic that popped up. It talked about how we moved it from, really, we moved it from 07. Then we moved it up to 13. Then we actually moved it all the way up as high as 17 uh, as we were looking to try to take out that revision target that I showed you just a few minutes ago. And then uh, there was a tremendous amount of liquidity going on. And when I zoomed in on that final little frame, you saw all of those orders there uh, positioned at 10. So that was the reason why uh, we were looking to get out there at 10. So nice even 50 ticks uh, on that trade. Uh, again, market maker levels will be doing training, conducting training on those on May 25th. And uh, we hope to see you there. So again, as always, I want to say thank you for spending some time watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.